Do you want to sit more comfortable in a squat position like this? What can you do? Now, it's all about understanding how a squat works, all right? In a squat, you wanna do three main things, all right? This is about ankle flexion, which is this, all right? Ankle extension, this is ankle flexion. You're moving your ankle like this. The squat is about knee flexion, which is this, all right? You're gonna flex your knee like this. And it's about hip flexion, three flexions, all right? The hip flexion works like this. So you're gonna pull your leg toward your trunk. So you want to work on these three things in order to master your squat position. Let's start with the ankle flexion. One thing you can do is this. The chair is gonna be our best friend today. One thing you can do to work on this angle, can you say I do want to work on the angle of the of the ankle, all right? And one thing I can do is really to start in this position here, and from this position here, I can drive my knee as far as I can in front of my toe in order to press, to create pressure on this ankle over here. Now, when you perform this stretch, it's really important that you don't want to move your heel, all right? So the heel remains fixed on the chair or on the bench and you gradually push yourself into the stretch. You can use a weight just to get a little, just to make the exercise a little more intense. It's gonna be kind of the same. You do want to sit, kind of sit in the position. Forward motions like this, pulses, all is going to help you maximize that ankle flexion, but the best piece of advice I can give you is this. When you are in the position, try to think about what is happening, all right? Think about, okay, I want to relax this area of my body. Just, just don't go there and think about nothing. You do want to think about, all right, am I doing something for my ankle? This is what you want to think about. Now, second exercise you can do for your ankle, really similar in terms of stretch not in terms of technique. You grab always, always a chair. Now look, I do want to put my heel on the floor and my toe against the chair. Or you can also use a wall. From this position here, keeping my legs straight, I do want to lean forward, lean forward, all right? This is going to stretch a muscle called the gastrocnemius, which is here, the backside of your calves, all right? And this is going to, of course, the gastrocnemius holds tension inside of your ankle, and by stretching it, you're gonna gain more range of motion. But you got another muscle inside of your calves, which is called the soleus, all right? Which is kind of a little different. And to stretch the soleus, you gotta bend your knee. So rather than saying like this, you want to repeat the same thing, but you do want to do something like this. Rather than keeping your legs straight and moving forward, you do want to bend your knee and then move forward, all right? Trying to bend the knee as much as possible. And this is going to stress the soleus. But for the soleus, the first exercise, of course, okay, can you see like the knee flexion over there? It's gonna be kind of a little more intense. Now, we want to always use the chair, all right, to work on, our knee flexion, because this is the second thing you do want to work on, to work on your squat, to get your squat really more comfortable, all right? So you can always use a chair, and the way you're gonna do that is the following, all right? So, chair over here, all right? And what you do want to do is this. You do want to start with one knee on the chair, much like this, all right, here, and you put the knee on the chair and your foot over there. From this position here, you slowly move your back toward the chair and your glutes toward your foot. Can you see that? The more you do that, the more intense the exercise will get. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of distance between my knee and the back of the chair. To get more, to, get the, to make the exercise a little more intense, I can move my knee toward the back of the chair and I want to do exactly the same thing and I slowly move my trunk up and feel the stretch correctly. Easily done, easily done. This is going to help you maximize your knee flexion, all right?
So the range of motion you need in your knees in order to perform a great squat position, all right? So you can repeat this, you can remain in the stretch for 20 to 30 breaths. Every five breaths, you try to get a little deeper into the stretch. You try to, yeah, you know, move your hips and your trunk toward the chair further. Now, let's talk about hip flexion, all right? The chair, our best friend, again. The hip flexion works like this. When you perform the hip flexion, you basically want to bring your hips like this because in a squat, you basically do this, all right? So we're gonna kind of work on that exact same range of motion, but with a weight and with a different strategy. So you want to start sitting on a chair, you do want to spread your legs apart, much like this, all right? When you are here, you want to arch your back, keep your back straight, and you want to fold your body in between your legs. You can use a weight because most of the time the only force of gravity isn't strong enough to let you go into the deepest stretch position. So what you do want to do is this, weight in front of you or behind your back. Now from this position here, for example, I keep my body as straight as possible. I want to work with my own range of motion. So you, so you may stop wherever you want, here, 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 here. It depends on your level, all right? Just go with it. Go with it, stop wherever you feel like, okay, the stretch is good. So you go down, you feel the stretch, and you come back up. You can repeat for reps, and on the last one, you remain here for a little longer. You enjoy the stretch. After some breaths with the weight behind your head, put the weight down and try to just fold into the stretch more. It doesn't matter if your back gets a little curved, you're stretching your hip flexion, you're stretching this, all right? So you do want to maximize that. But when you perform the reps, etc., try to keep your back straight. All right, so these are the three exercises and the main exercises, not only three, uh, actually four or five, exercises you want to use to stretch your body, your entire body, so your ankles, your knees, and your hips in order to get a comfortable squat position. Now, one last piece of advice I can give you is this. You also want to practice the squat position. I got this kind of piece of equipment which is really, really, really useful for the squat. Small piece of wood. I do want to put these pieces of wood, if I can't really squat at max depth yet, I do want to try to do this. Knees straight when I start heels on the blocks and from this position here I do want to squat down I can keep the chair in front of me just to help me with the balance and I want to work on this and I want to spend time maybe I want to lean on one side or the other create pressure try to get more and more comfortable in the stretch all right then I can leave the chair and see if I can balance see if I can stay here all right, with the blocks. With time, I can also practice something like, okay, I try not to use the blocks and I slowly move my heels back. As soon as I feel that I'm losing the position, I try to pull myself again into the squat and I can repeat this for reps. Can you see? I can repeat this for reps until I got my heels on the floor, I can relax my ankles, I can relax my hips, and keep my body, I, I, I think that the back is not about, I do want to keep my, my back really straight. You can also curve a little, as soon as you can stay in the position. And slowly leave the chair and try to balance the position. But take into account that the squat is really personal, right? So each one of us have, has a different squat, all right? So don't compare yourself to others, just make sure you are making progress, all right? Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the exercise and the explanations, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any kind of questions you want to ask, because I'll be really happy to have a chat with you and to, yeah, you know, talk about flexibility training. Also, if you are trying to increase your flexibility, but you don't know how to do it, you, maybe you've been trying to do that with memberships and programs, eBooks and stuff, but, like it seems it, it seems like it's not working i'm offering personalized coaching which means that we're gonna create a program together based on your goals on your time availability on your level of preparation i'm gonna figure all of that out through a free call all right so we can jump on a call right now and we can talk about everything you want to work on all right or your flexible positions and stuff and we're gonna create a program around your 
needs, all right? Time availability and stuff. And I'm gonna create this complete program, which is not copy and paste, which is not a membership where everyone gets to do the same thing, with, which doesn't make any sense. You need personalized program and personalized feedback. And I'm gonna provide you both with my online coaching service, all right? You can check it out following the link in the description down below. Now, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Give your squats a little love because the squats, I, I know, it's one of the best flexibility positions you can reach. And with that said, have a nice stretch and see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, if you want to improve and master your squat position, this is the book for you. Bond to Squat. With all the exercise and workouts you gotta do to squat at your full depth. Check it out on Amazon right now.